Hey guys, I finally updated my TV to something 100 pounds lighter and made in this century. And consequently, some changes are going to have to be made to how I get content on that TV. So without further ado, let's get to it. Initially, I thought I could just keep using my Roku XR, or wait, is it 10R now? Whatever. And to be perfectly honest, I could, but I discovered that even in 1080p mode, the Roku still only outputs 720p via HDMI, and that just won't do for a 1080p television, so it was time for a change. Enter my trusty Raspberry Pi 2. I used to have my Raspberry Pi 1 hooked up to the family TV downstairs with an XBMC Linux distro, and it worked like a charm, so I can only imagine how well the Pi 2 will work with its more powerful processor. I plan to overclock it quite a bit, so I whipped up this little enclosure with some scrap walnut and spare computer parts. The fan is powered by the 5 volt leads on the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins and provides some active cooling to help out the aluminum heat sinks I've installed on the Pi's CPU. Last time I did this, the options for Media Center OS's on the Pi were RasbMC and OpenELEC, and they seem to have been rebranded as LibreELEC and OSMC, respectively. I was a RasbMC user, so I'll stick with OSMC for this project, and by the way, OSMC's website is gorgeous. Setting up the SD card was exactly as I remembered it. Download your disk image, extract it, fire up Win32 Disk Imager, and write it to the card. And once that's done, pull it out, stick it in the Raspberry Pi, hook it up, and fire it up. The install process went smoothly, and before I knew it, I was staring at the setup screen. It was pretty simple. All I had to do was pick a country, language, name the Pi, configure SSH, log into Wi-Fi, and pick a theme. Because OSMC has its own theme for Kodi, and it actually looks really nice. For some reason, it detected my display as being 480p, so I changed that in the settings. And one faulty HDMI cable later, we're up and running in glorious high definition. OSMC includes an advanced configuration add-on that I seem to recall being in RaspBMC 2. I use this to bump up my overclock to a modest 1000 MHz. I'll fine-tune this later for even more power, but with my cooling setup, I expect to be able to get near 1200 MHz. I don't know where a lot of the settings were in OSMC's skin, so I changed back to Cody's default skin for my initial configuration. I set the audio to 5.1 surround, adjusted the overscan, checked my CPU temps, they were at about 105 degrees, set up remote control, set up Apple AirPlay, and removed some home screen clutter. Then it was time for the add-ons. For now, I'll start with the basics. Plex, YouTube, and Twitch. YouTube was exactly as I remembered it, and it still works like a charm. Plex, however, was a first for me, and it really blew me away. I was able to quickly connect to my laptop running the Plex server, and it pulled all the info on my entire collection of movies and TV shows. It even lets me play full quality H.265 videos on the Raspberry Pi, because all of the decoding work is done on the server instead of the Raspberry Pi itself. The interface was fantastic, and even shows similar movies in my collection as well as the actors that played in each movie. It was almost like my own private Netflix. It buffered quite a bit, but I'm guessing that's down to the fact that I had both the server and the Pi running at the very edge of our very slow Wi-Fi. It might look a bit choppy here, but that's just because of the shutter speed I had to use in camera to keep the plasma from flickering. In person, it was butter smooth. The Kodi remote app for my phone was easy to set up and worked great. It also had a lot less input lag than I was expecting, but I still wouldn't want to be controlling a video game with it. So in the end, I'm pretty happy with this little setup, and it would only be better with a newer model like the Pi 3 Model B Plus. So if you're looking for a customizable set-top box, the Raspberry Pi would definitely be worth looking into, 
especially if you tend to keep your media offline like I do. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.